Yeah, there is a fox inside the field. Let's go save him. Give me jewels. No. Guys, hurry up. Okay. He's right there. We need to get him out of the pool. Gotcha. <gasps> wow. Chlorine is actually very bad for frogs because they breathe through their skin and chlorine is harmful for skin. Frogs also drink with your skin too and not through their mouth like me. This is how I drink water. And this is how I drink water. <laughs> All day, frogs don't need to drink through their mouth like we do. Instead, they can just drink straight through the skin. Crazy, huh? Can you help him again? Give me Do you want to put him in the bucket? Yes! We need to rinse the chlorine off him. He's a little cute little frog. What type of frog? I think he's a green frog. Be so scared. Whoa! What's his name? Probably Hopper. Another Hopper? You just had a cricket that's called Hopper. How about Hopper Jr.? I, I love Hopper Jr. I really need to examine him to make sure he's not hurt. Okay, let's see. Okay, climbing and climbing skills tested. So he's probably not really injured. You see those little suction cups? Those will suck onto any material that it gets a hold of. How about jumping skills? Let's see. Oh, definitely not injured. I don't think it is. Did you know that most frogs can jump 20 times their body length? That's like you and me jumping together across the length of a basketball court. How cool is that? Are you ready? Yeah! Do you know why you jump so far? It's because of those impressive muscles. See that? I can jump far too. What? I believe I can fly. Let's see. Does he have a confusion of food source? Turns out he does not. Great. Frogs don't like leaves. They eat bugs, not leaves. Guys, you want to hear something funny? Why are frogs always happy? Why? Well, you know why? Because frogs eat anything that bugs them. <laughs> Did he pass the physical exam? I think he did. You're ready to go, Hopper Jr. Whoa! Snow frog? <laughs> Eric, he loves you. I'm not sure he wants to leave. Look at him pushing on me. Uh -huh. He is super adorable, but if you want something, you have to do the best for him. We're going to release him now. I know exactly where to release him. Just be careful. Um, we need to test if he's a tree frog, so let's see what he'll do. Tree, maybe nothing like this. I don't think he's a tree frog. Did you know that frogs can live both in water and on land? They use their skin to breathe underwater and their lungs to breathe on land. So the ideal place for them is that where there are streams, but there also are a lot of logs for them to roll around in and hide from their predators. Frogs are amphibians. In Greek, amphibians 
mean two lives. That's because they can live on water and on land. Friends, can you say amphibian? That's correct. I know the proof of question from over there, quick. Right there at that log. That log. Oh. He's next to the spiky. That's not easy. I think I want to put him somewhere better. I know where to put him. I think around here is ideal. There. Bye. Last touch. Bye. If you miss me, just try not to get caught in the filter, but you can stand right next to our door. We'll see you. Hey, Oh, he's underneath the log. Oh, he's somewhere there. I can't see. Yeah, but he's down below there somewhere. I think that's a nice time to say goodbye to him. Did you know that for our masters of Tim Ford? That's why you can't see him now. Last month, we went to Acadia National Park, and it was very hard to find the frogs in the pond. Can you help Audie find the frogs in the pond? I'm just a little sad that we have to say goodbye to Hopper Jr. But we need the best for him. We want to thrive in his natural habitat, not in captivity. If you like same creatures with me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Trivia time! Contestant number one, Aaron from Aaron's Nature Guy. Contestant number two, Ani. The smartest river otter in the whole wide world. Hi friends, I'm so glad to be here. What do frogs come from? I know, I know. Frogs come from mini frogs. No, they come from tadpoles, and then their legs pop out, and they become frog legs, and then they become an adult frog. I've never seen a frog like right before. Become a frog soon. Aww. If you like saving animals with me, don't forget to watch my starfish video.